Yep, that's right. It's come to that time. I'm doing a Let's Play of Discworld because it is the greatest point and click game. Yes, even above Simon the Sorcerer. So. Oh, what have we done? <gasps> there we go. I'm going to play, play through the intro. Uh, called Discworld was released in 1995 for MS-DOS and in numerous other platforms. In a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Um, apparently they wanted Nicholas Lindhurst to be Rincewind. Somewhere in darkest Ankh-Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. As you find out, it's actually Eric Idle they got instead. They also wanted Christopher Lee to be deaf, but they couldn't afford him. It would have been awesome. <laughs> Just makes me think of hot fuzz. The greater are good. <laughs> And there he is, Death. I'll see you again next week for my usual special. Lovely. Hey, watch where you're going. See you soon. <laughs> Get off! Leave me alone! Damnation, you don't clear out, so help me, I, I... Oh, just bugger off! <coughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. <laughs> Who's there? Hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. My I name. say, it's put your Cain, hands up. And I'm and an you, neighbor. put your hands up. What did you say? It's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now, please... Put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? Okay, okay. I don't know what this town is coming to. <laughs> A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... <laughs> oh, bugger. <laughs> Unseen University, the home of the greatest wizards on the disc world, and one or two of the worst. <laughs> Now, listen carefully. With all these rumours of a dragon... But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumours of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfil their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. 
as for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Chancellor wants to see you. And now we can do stuff. <laughs> Take the pouch. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so I'm trying to remember what I need to do. I know I need to get the luggage off, so I think we need to get a broom from somewhere to poke it off. Some people criticised this game because the puzzles were too hard, but you know what? That's like a 10, 10 11, 11 year old? Maybe 12? Uh, I played this and I got it, so there we go. But it's remembering <laughs> how to do it all. So. We'll just have a wander around and see what happens. See what takes our fancy. Right. I think we can go across in here. That doesn't work. <laughs> Arch Chancellor's room. Yes, we need to see the Arch Chancellor. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. <laughs> Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quite. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk, and you listen. <laughs> no doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumours about this dragon that supposedly is terrorising the town. Uh, uh, d uh d dragon? As in the uh, classic, fire-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects that species of kidney and what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it if some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for actually sir what are wizards for <laughs> wizards are firmly behind big dinners and if you want to keep on eating yours you'll go and see about this dragon surely sir dragons don't logically exist Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? <laughs> Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! <laughs> oh dear. Apparently the late great Terry Pratchett did quite enjoy this game version, so... I mean, what's not to enjoy? Right. So, we need to get... We need to find the library. We need to get the luggage down. That's the dining room in there, is it? Right. I have a feeling that there's a broom handle in here. No, that's the library. <laughs> ah, closet. That's what we want. Right. We're gonna need our luggage. Well, yeah, obviously to store all our stuff, so. 
I'm assuming um, everyone's read Discworld. So, we'll go up here, back to the bedroom, and wake the luggage up. to the library to see about a book. Oops. Uh, that was the library, wasn't it? Yes. charge here are you ooh, 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 ooh. oh I see well that explains the filing system <laughs> I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see oh yeah well it, it's hard to explain really yeah well this is wonderful <laughs> I never knew I could speak monkey <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hi, do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Yeah. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? <laughs> the uh, librarian was originally human and got changed into a monkey uh, and doesn't like the word monkey, so you get hit. Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tone called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <laughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. <laughs> no, I'll come back and get a book later. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey, oh, damn, ow! Ah. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Right, um... May I take a book from the library, please? Whoop, whoop. Excuse me? Whoop, 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 whee. I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Whoop. Ooh, toothpaste, fingers, gloves, something in your hand. Ooh, a dentist, halitosis. You want, you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? Ooh, I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Ooh. Oh, a library card. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one, ape. Ooh, uh, ape, on, upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey! Whose monkey is this? Ugh. We get the impression there's a lot of monkey Did you jokes. get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Exactly. So what happens if we just try and wander in? Not a lot. Hmm, can't find the book though. Psst. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friends. Think <laughs> of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. <laughs> Gosh, yes. 
let me take advantage of this once in a lifetime offer. What, really? Nah, only kidding. I just wanted to be as pleasant as possible as sort of aid to conversation. Oh, but that's cruel. It's building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. Oh, I hear the Framenwenger Peninsula is fairly quiet. What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. <sighs> right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Hmm, I think we need to do something. I think we need to get a library card from somewhere, don't we? Right. Yes, we have a banana in our luggage, don't we? We give that to the librarian. Maybe he will let us have the book. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? Excellent. Good lad, Breakwind. Rincewind, son. <laughs> ah! We now have the formula to construct Reclamento's never-failing Dragon's Lair revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, son? Really? Well, could be. That'd be easier, certainly. <laughs> You've got a good, firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the university board when we review your grant next year. Uh, we may only halve it, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I've ever told you of my ambition to be a yak. It can be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now, going to move on. <laughs> we need a staff of tumultuous turbatogy, a spiral of never-failing induction, a miniature creature of excitable chitters, and a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Uh, well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go. Don't want much, does it? Right. Put that in there. And off we go. So, the first one is a staff. So, if I remember rightly, we can get this from the dining room. Lecture in recent rooms. Good day, sirs. Is it? 
So you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market? Huh. He's off again. That's Tony Pass Robinson. the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. <laughs> Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, they don't believe in me. So we're both happy. <laughs> Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well... Don't be an idiot, boy. Just look for the palace. Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Ooh, irony. <laughs> Look, does anyone know why this luggage keeps following me? Ah, that sapient pearwood that luggage is. There's no getting rid of it. It'll follow you everywhere. Sapient pearwood? They once used it to make containers for grave goods. I suppose someone hoped that you really could take it with you. <laughs> the chest is in fact... The luggage. The luggage is made of sapient pear wood, and once it attaches itself to somebody, it will follow that person everywhere. Just like a little puppy. It is like a runaway suitcase, albeit one with lots of little pink legs. In this game, the luggage is a convenient storage device. Not to mention a convenient homicidal maniac, should one be required. So, lots of uses for the luggage then. Right, so this is a staff, so this will do. Where's our luggage gone? I've been talking about it and it's wandered off. Right, so we're going to need that. Go this way. There we go. That doesn't work. Oh. There we go. So that's the first thing. Right, so I think next is the imp. The was names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. <laughs> nice weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making, and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. <laughs> so. This is it. You just you just stand here all day getting a wage for eating prunes. Certainly. Someone's got to do it. It's a plum job. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. <laughs> Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. <laughs> but what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives them monkeys? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Well, I'll catch you later then. 
that doesn't work. That's got to come in useful later. So here is the map, we've got the Unseen University there, Palace there, Square there, Street, um, the Shades, Park, the Inn, and the City Gate. There's a few more bits that come up later on, so. Um, and that is the Dragon. an alley there. Now, um, we need to find the livery stable. I can't remember where that is, so let's have a look at the square first of all. Uh, is he one? One what? Um, uh, one of them, you know. What? With a whip? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> he's one of them. Probably. He's wearing a hat. Well, I, I'm not standing for it. Young man, are you one of them? One of what? <laughs> I? It's all depending on his destiny. I'm the kind of man that went out and made his own destiny. What out of? Wood. Come again? Hey, you, you carve a destiny, don't you? Could be made of ivory. Oh, can't get the elephants these days. How's about iron? Then you could forge a mighty destiny. Too heavy. It has to be wood. What? There we are, young man. Your destiny should be made of wood. Don't go to the desert, though. It'll get termites, and then you'll have a holy destiny. Had to struggle a bit for that one, sorry. Right, um... Oh, well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I hear Destiny calling. <laughs> I think we're in the wrong place. Right. Yeah. Ah, there it is, down there. I knew there were some other places. Right, so... doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay. That will make sense later. Um, so who's this for? Is this the alchemist in here? Yes, it must be. Right, so... Leave the camera alone. That's what we need, because the imp that we need, the animal of excitable, whatever it was, um, is in the camera. So we're going to put the corn in the flask and make some popcorn. What's the distraction? Leave the camera oh. alone. Ah, 
That's supposed to work. Um. Leave the camera alone. Leave the camera alone. Um. That's taken us half an hour, so I will be next back next time for part two of Discworld. I'm the Cat Lady Gamer. Follow me on Twitter at the Cat Lady Gamer, and I will see you next time.